Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new War Dragons video. My name is Matt. In today's video, I'm going to be going over how to fly hunters effectively and properly. So, I have saw a lot of comments on the forums lately, um, on chat, different chat rooms and line, uh, about young or lower level players asking how to fly hunter dragons and which ones are the best ones to get. So, in today's video, I'm going to go over which ones I would highly suggest getting the spells that you're really going to want to look for when you're looking for very good hunter dragons, and then also how to fly and some tips and tricks to use when you're actually flying. So I'm going to start at the orange tier because, oh uh, sorry, I'll start at the blue tier. So the reason why I'm not saying the red and purple is simply because at that point you're really trying to understand the game and you're not really going to be looking at how strong a dragon is until you really get to the blue tier. So, with the blue tier, you're going to want to start out with Bolt and Druid. These two hunter dragons are very powerful at the lower levels. Um, the one thing that's going to be really powerful for Druid is going to be his healing mark. Another thing for Bolt is going to be Death Gaze. Now, Death Gaze is probably one of the best spells in the game because it will take out a building in its entirety with all its health with one rage. So you can effectively take out five different buildings no matter what level they are. Even if you have a level 5 bolt and against a forty level 40 tower, this death gauge will take it out in one shot, which is incredible. And that's why bolt is very powerful, even though he's just a rare dragon. So another one is definitely Newman. Now this is the reason for this is going to be his resist, which at lower levels can and resist wrecks of many bases because there are so many cannons and archer towers at lower levels. Also going to be Cloak. Now, there's several spells that I'm really going to hone in on because they are going to be what you really want to look for when you're picking which hunter dragon you want to go for. Because no matter what, I would say go for hunter dragons first in any new tier unless you are very power, sorry, very good at either warrior dragons or sorcerer dragons. But if not, if you can't decide, always go with hunters first. They will get you the farthest no matter what. So... Newman, you have to buy, unfortunately, but he's almost well worth it, in my opinion. I got him because he has Cloak, which is one of the best spells in the game, aside of uh, Steel Essence, and then, of course, Death Gaze. Moving on, this tier, actually, the orange tier only has one very good one, and that would be Inky. Uh, again, you see Cloak, and you see Death Gaze. So I've heard Inky is a Newman on steroids, and uh, it, he really is. He's very good. Unfortunately, it's not a legendary, so that's kind of sad, but, you know. So then two that I would suggest getting is in the green tier is Etten and Erd. If you have a choice between the two, for sure go with Etten first, because he has Cloak and he has Healing Mark. Now, Healing Mark is okay. Some people make a big deal out of it. It allows you to get health back, but I don't think it's as powerful as it could be. I think it should give a little bit more health. But either way, Etten will be good for you until about level 90 when he's maxed out. So I suggest getting him as well as he has can resist and self-destruct. You have to be careful when you're using it to not accidentally press self-destruct and then use it. And then, you know, your attack is over. So Erd is not as great. Uh, actually has healing mark, but the resist is Ballista resist and evasion. Those two combined are horrible. So definitely Etten is a better choice. So for the gold tier, this is a big tier simply because you're getting into the steel essence norm for all hunter dragons. And the three that are on are going to be Will Garner, Khans, Consurgeons actually, and Yursinu. The best one is Will Garner simply because he has Cloak, Lightning Resist, Steel Essence, and then Sacrifice. Sacrifice is pretty good. It is good in tight situations when there's no blue mage and you need rage. Which, if you keep watching, Rage will be very important to any type of Hunter Dragon. So, Steel Essence is definitely the top spell in the game, in my opinion. It's very versatile. You can use it in almost any situation. And I will talk about that in a couple of seconds. But, after Will Garner, you'll want to get Khans, Consurgence. If you follow Amoeba's Breeding Path, you'll get both at the same time. So, that will take care of that. And then, of course, you have your Snoo, which has seething, sorry, Stealing Essence, sorry, Steel Essence, and Sacrifice. Moving on, this tier is when you get Rhizar. Rhizar is a complete beast. 
He used to be able to take out level 300 plus bases, boosted. It's he's very powerful, and the reason for this is that he has cloak, which again is the second best spell in my opinion. Then you have galvanic overload, which is a diluted death gaze. It will almost take out a building, not always, but it sometimes will, and then it has a cooldown. And then you have steel essence, which of course is very good. Jagra is alright, and so is Nakira. Um, I would highly suggest getting Jagra first, and if you want to, you can get Nakira. It's not necessary. And then from there on, you have Shechem and Gorgonos. I would definitely get Shechem first, because um, obviously, Ballesta Resist, again, is not very good, in my opinion, especially at higher levels when no one has a Ballesta on their base. So now that we're gone through that, I want to actually show you guys how to attack with hunters. Now, attacking with hunters is a little bit different than warriors because with warriors you have a continuous spout of flame. With warriors, sorry, with hunters, sorry, you have a set amount of energy that you can use. So once you run out of energy, it has to regenerate. And you can technically keep tapping and it will continually regen regenerate at that speed. But you're going to want to try to keep that max energy as much as possible. So I'm going to start with, let's say, this person right here. Um, let me make sure he's not online real quick. I'll actually go and start with, um, let's see, I'll probably start with Ryzar. So you can use hunters. And if you have the ability to use three fingers, I would do that in certain situations. Um, hunters will be very good if you can use two fingers. Four fingers is a little bit too much because you'll run out of your energy very quickly. Um, and obviously you want to make sure that you have enough energy to destroy buildings. Because again, hunters have very high damage per second, not so much health. So the big key point that you're going to want to make sure is that you want to make sure that you have plenty of health and plenty of rage. I cannot stress that enough. Rage is so important to hunter dragons because their spells are geared toward taking out buildings fairly quickly and effectively. And if you don't have enough rage, a lot of the hunter dragons will suffer very quickly. And if you have any type of rune for any type of rage, I would do that. I'll show you my runes on Nightshade and Rizar to give you an example of what I like putting on my hunter dragons. Most of my hunter dragons have about the same type of rune set. And another thing that you want to remember is that you want to have to you want to think about his seal essence. Seal essence is very powerful again because it can be used in almost any situation. So if you have a let's say you have an island that's full of projectile throwing um sorry, projectile throwing defenses and if there's a red mage, you want to you're going to want to kill that red mage first because then you can use the reverse projectiles that gives you against those projectiles. Or if you're going on a island full of lightning towers, or let's say, um, I don't know, um, ice or fire turrets, you're going to want to use a invincibility, which you get from the storm towers. And that way, you take no damage at all while being able to deal a good amount of damage. So, that's just kind of the simple basics on hunters. Again, you want to make sure you have enough rage, you have enough... Um, you have enough rage, you have enough energy, and then you want to work with the spells themselves. The spells are very crucial. If you don't use any spells, you're really going to have a hard time dealing with these higher level bases. As you guys can see, this guy is a level 172. I'm a level 134. Um, when I was a level 114 and my nightshade was... As you guys can sorry, real quick, as you guys can see right there, if you use cloak effectively, and you can actually dodge red mage shots which is very good, um, and if you use cloak, because it's a blue spell, red mages will not be able to stop you using it, so if you use it, it will stop any projectiles coming near you, which includes mage shots, so if you can kill a blue mage quick enough, you can actually use its power, sorry, you can actually use cloak to dodge the blue mage if you kill the tower fast enough, so that's a tip that is very useful when you're trying to save rage, which is, again, crucial to any um, hunter dragon. So, as you guys can see right here, um, you want to make sure that you don't always use all of your rage at one point. You want to make sure that you save rage for the next island and so far 
so forth and so forth, sorry, so, so on, so forth, sorry. Um, and you want to remember his resist or his passive ability. And for example, this is a lightning resist. So you want to kill the lightning towers last unless, of course, there's farms. Because even though, as I said in my last video, they have a resist, they still take some damage. So level 44 lightning towers take a great amount of damage from my nightshade. So you just want to remember that. Um, and that's actually about it for hunters. I'll show you my runes that I put on hunters um, real quick. And I would definitely suggest... I would... I would suggest copying them if you would like if you would like to. I know some of the runes are hard to get if you're a lower level and I know some of the runes sorry, some of the dragons you won't have yet, which is perfectly okay. I didn't have these dragons. I've been playing about a year now. So let's see. Not training. Uh for equipping. So as you guys can see, I have a rare wisdom. I'll put that on any of your better dragons so you can level them up faster. But as you guys can see right here, I have a epic rage glyph, myth mythic inversion, sorry invert, which basically is because he has an invert spell, right here. The one thing about that is at the moment, the invert rune does not affect the invert um, length of time. However, the one good thing is the rage generation is increased, so I have about a 10.8 percent increase in rage. If you guys are wondering why I have a legendary evasion on him, even though he doesn't have evasion, um, if you see the modifier is actually increased lightning tower resist by 2.5. So that means I have more resist to lightened, more lightning towers, which means minimal damage because of lightning towers, which equals more time to use your spells and use your and use do more damage to more buildings quicker. And I would suggest doing that on any dragon. It's the three main runes you're want to get. You're gonna want to have are going to be runes that increase rage generation, even if it's a modifier like this legendary fireball. You're going to want rage runes, no matter what. You're going to want to have resist runes, and then you're probably going to want to have wisdom, because hunters are going to be the ones that you're going to want to focus on the most. Um, as you guys can see here, I have some pretty good runes on him. Let me see, do I have any other hunters? Um, I have this one hunter. I just have, again... Trebuchet resist and wisdom. I didn't put a rage because he's just not worth it to me But yeah, so if you guys enjoyed the video, let me know down below with comment or a like I really do appreciate it last video. I got 69 um, Views which is insane. I never realized that there would be this much uh, Views unfortunately, I didn't see any comments except for one by I'm in GR by the way guys check him out He's a great youtuber. Um, I'm actually in a chat with him at the moment uh, Email him, his name is Iman G H R in game, and ask him to be invited to this chat room. You guys can chat with him, with any of the guys in here. It's a really great place to talk about stuff about the game. I'm in here, I'm kind of helping out people as well. And then message me in game again. Here's my profile X owns Nemesis X. I'll be out here, and thank you guys.